Hello everyone. Welcome to LA Noir. I know it's been a while since I did a video, but I've been busy with my books. Hey, speaking of books, um, the third installment of Lilith Cohen is out. Lilith Cohen, Crimson, uh, Crimson Arrow. And uh, it's available on Kindle and paperback. And also, if, if you're a fan of detective stuff like this game is, I urge you to check out uh, Blood is Black in the Moonlight, a Detective Devorah Lobos novel. Uh, it's a modern-day hard-boiled detective uh, thriller set in present times, of course. Uh, but it's in the similar spirit as this game. Or same tone. All right, let's get into this. You like the fight game, Phelps? I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. See a sandwich, buddy? Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna yeah. ham and cheese, 10. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey's about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. Yeah, this is early mocap. Let's get a ringside seat. Son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. God damn you, Albert! You get out here right now! Step back! LAPD! What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. Uh, that's nothing. Mm. Don't think this is any use to us. You look troubled. I'm in a jam, doctor. Can I help, Courtney? Is it money? No, <coughs> no, doctor. It's okay. Oh, excuse me. Do I have your professional I got confidence? Choked on Whatever you water. say, we'll never leave this room. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something, and it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons, for short-term gain. We came home from China 
on the cool bridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. I thought I could get the guys a fair share. Some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. I mean, we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands. And you can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties and your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, Doctor. That is one shady bastard. There's a phone number we can run by R&I, plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. Yeah, he leaped out that window. You better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me... Roy, you out of pocket too? Mickey, seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps. Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. Operator, give me R and I. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? I need an address for the following phone number, AL345. The address for the phone number is the Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thanks for your help. You know the place? Flop House. Quarter a night, no questions asked. Damn, that's a cheap place to stay in. Quarter a night. You're behind the wheel. 
Fine, where are we headed? You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very sharp suits. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. Yeah, what do you want? LAPD. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. That's a guy from the papers. Saw that big case. My wife is so dumb, she stares at orange juice for hours. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. Orson Welles, we know that ain't him. That's an author, if I'm not mistaken. Is somebody gonna tell us what the hell is going on? Rita Hayworth. Alright, he's British, so let's look for some British. Ah, uh, yeah. Winston Churchill, there we go. Uh, Humphrey Bogart's on here. You know they had him in a in a movie uh, that was based on the Dashiell Hammett novel, *The Maltese Falcon*, if I'm not mistaken. He played as uh, Sam Spade. That price is Winston Churchill. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. Three blondes. Doors unlocked. Looks like he's had a broad up here. He must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. Hey, there's such a thing as soap, you know. I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. Does Albert have somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his corner at the fight. Instaheat. Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who's Candy? Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. All right, let's go after his girl, see if that gets us any closer. Gives us angle if he has a real love interest. Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. Eleven grand would be a nice little nest egg. Let's go after his girl, 
See if that gets us any closer. Not everything here is going to be relevant. All right. Let's go talk to Candy. Jesus H. Christ! Lay off the sauce, man. My wife is so dumb, she stares at orange juice for hours. Well, it does say concentrate on the cartons. <laughs> Can you drive to this one? Where are we going? So, you boxed in the Marines? We all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. We need to know which room is Candy's. See him? LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment 7. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type. Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. This Candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen callers. You know, even though this is a dated game, it's still, the graphics still holds up well, in my opinion. Give it up, Sounds bitch. like we're missing all he's the fun. The Get in there, the Phelps. You know where he's hiding. Now t <laughs> like hitting women, do you? This isn't going to end well for you, friend. Ooh, uppercut. Out cold, but breathing. Give her a minute and take a look around. Nasty weapon. All the Italians carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. Carlo here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? She's leaving town. Probably nothing. Circumstantial. Don't think this is anything. Single ticket, one way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. Escania sails from New York. Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him.
You're lying, Candy. You were in his hotel room. He came back after the fight and you weren't there. What happened? You can't prove that I was in the room. How do you think we found you, Candy? You wrote your name and address on a coupon. Look, Albert was supposed to take a fall. We were all supposed to make a little money out of it. But Albert got too goddamn stubborn. Said his pride was all he had left. So I told him, shove it. Let's see his pride keep him warm at night. So you walked out before the fight? Yes, I did. What's the problem? I didn't take anything. Do the names Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? They're bookmakers, aren't they? Tell me the truth. How the hell would I know? Albert wrote his winnings down on a notepad in the hotel room. We found the odds in his locker. Who has the betting slips? That son of a bitch, Albert. Everyone thought he was dumb, including me. But he beat them all. You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. Albert is going home by boat as soon as he collects his winnings. I know you're going to meet him. Albert is going to collect nothing. He'll be lucky if he can get out of town in one piece. How will you fare any better? They already believe you're in on it. Hell, I know you're in on it. You can think what you want, Buster. I'll take my chances. I got a few errands to run, and then I say adios to this dump. Do you want to press charges against Arcaro? Just get him out of here. That's all I want. Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. Good luck, Miss Edwards. I hope things work out for you. Thank you. It's very kind of you to say so. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station. I smell a payoff. I say stake her out, see where she goes. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. All right, let's see how many times I screw this up. Too much slack. Gotta get closer.
Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Bookmakers? Yes. Surprise, surprise. I'm out of here. I know that face. That's the guy who busted all those Negro drug guys. A blonde woman just came in here. She went out the back way. Said she was being watched. How much did she collect? $3,600. She cleaned me out. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. <laughs> so she collected the money and went out through the back door? Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. What are you doing? An old intelligence trick from the Marines. I know where she's headed. Let's get moving. You can drive. All right, where to? Bumco Fraud has three known bookmakers operating.
operating out of storefronts in the Hollywood area, Thrifty Liquor, 6106 Santa Monica, the Examiner Drugstore, and a Max Spirits at 1658 North Cherokee. KGPL clear. Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleaners. 4,000 clams and change. How long ago did she leave? Maybe five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. Here, lay off the whiskey or cigars, pal. Yellow cab. We need to get after her, fast. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Can you connect me to the Yellow Cab Company? Hollywood 2187, please. This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood? Yes, sir. Send one round from the pool. Do you have the number of that cab? Number 179. Thanks. We're done playing around. Get Mervyn to give us an address on Ray's place. What now? We're done playing around. Get Mervyn to give it. Do you have any idea who Ray is? Sugar Ray. Not now, Mervyn. Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor at the best of times. Ray runs a shop up on North Cherokee Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. You know the way. You can drive. Do we know where we're going? Hammond backed himself to win. And Candy is picking up the winnings. Smart play. Question is, is Candy collecting on Albert's behalf, or is she cheating him too? That's the cab waiting up ahead. She's not in the car. Don't get too close. She must be inside. We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. Hammond is over the hill. He's a punching bag for the up-and-comers. She knows his goddamn place. I think he knows. I think he worked out the place isn't L.A. He's punchy. His brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill? Give me a break. Churchill is a fighter, Roy. Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think of. Hammond is full of himself, being this sure he was going to win.
Whoa, back off before we get made. That bitch has given me what I'm owed. That's all I know. Can you quit driving like a jackass already? Pull over. She's heading inside. I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. Olive oil comes from olives. Where does baby oil come from? <laughs> Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Want another accommodation? I think his name is Phelps. He brought in that case of that poor lady killed near City Hall. Sam's taking the other phone screen. Hammond got away. <coughs> he said, Just try and sit still, Candy. Who shot you? Was it Albert? Car. I, I, <gasps> They're on the way. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey friend using his girlfriend as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split? He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook. Thirty-two caliber, one shot fired. The Egyptian theater. So what now? The theater, I guess. We don't have much else to go on. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Poor girl. She didn't deserve that. Poor girl. Half the precinct aren't taking a vacation this year because of her. You need to leave town a lot quicker than that if you decide to screw over Mickey C. Yeah, Mickey Cohen was a vicious gangster back then.
This seems like a long shot. Aren't they all? Car 11 King. Car 11 King. Come in. Car 11 King. Message from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. KGB Son of a bitch. He stabbed her. I thought you said real men use their fists, not guns. That guinea cocksucker. You think he got the money, too? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. Why'd you kill her, Carlo? Your gripe was with me. She was collecting the money for you. Mickey made it clear it was either me or you, and, and I intend to keep on living. She stole those betting slips. She was running out on me. And you were going to let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a dime. Everyone wanted me to take the short money. It's for the best, kid. You were washed up, kid. You couldn't climb and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere. Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying. And it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much. But I had that. I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself. So did little boy. You did it and make a quick buck. And Candy did it and make her dream come true. Blah, blah, blah. I've got the money. All I need to do is get rid of you. It's going to be a shame, kid, but that's business. We've heard enough, Arcaro. Put down your weapon. You're making a big mistake, Arcaro. <laughs> Throw out the guns. Come on, Cole. Carlo's a dead man. Hammond, too, when I find him. On the ground, now! Where are you? You limey cocksucker. And it's the electric chair. It's time to come out now, Hammond. Put the gun down, Roy. That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. Escania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. Fuck you! That English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps! Donnelly and the Homicide Squad send their best, Phelps. They're more than pleased that you wrapped up the Edwards killing. They're a little mystified about the motive. You have any ideas on that? Uh, crime of passion, sir. Uh, looks like some sort of love triangle between the manager, the fighter, and uh, uh, his girlfriend. No sign of the scrapper? No, sir. Looks like he left town after the fight. Okay. It's Homicide's problem now. Good work, gentlemen.
All right, that's going to conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as I said earlier, you can find my books on Amazon. Uh, their titles are Lilith Cohen, Merchants of Death, Lilith Cohen, Retribution, Lilith Cohen, Crimson Arrow, and my detective novel is called Blood is Black in the Moonlight, a Detective Devor Lobos novel. So check them out. They're available on Kindle and paperback. I uh, hope you enjoy. Have a good night.